Hey guys, Kaiju2014117 signing in, and today we're going to be talking about a spoiler free uh, spoiler section. So if you guys haven't seen the movie and you do not want to be spoiled, please leave the video first, watch the movie, and then come back. But if you don't mind about the spoilers, then take a seat, relax, and enjoy. And so this is a spoiler spoiler review for Hobbs and Shaw. So. If you've seen my previous video about the review of Hobbs and Shaw, I enjoyed it and I gave it 8 out of 10. And it was a blast. Now, what I like about the film is how we get to see different lives of Hobbs and Shaw. Like what they do in their daily basis, what their job is, and how they fight. And especially we get to see a little history of Shaw, why he was a villain in Furious 7, or in a way why they see him as a villain. It turns out, Idris Elba, I believe that's how you say his name. I forgot the villain's name. He's quite forgettable in a way for the name, but he's definitely a recognizable threat. But anyways, him and Shaw actually know each other. They were actually part of the team. But because what Shaw did, he betrays that character but because that character is about to betray him first so in a way it's kind of like back to back but because Shaw is, was actually a good was a good person until Idris Elba's character um, I think there was a bigger boss I did not know who it was there was another villain but it, it didn't identify who it is but this person does have a history with Hobbs so he's the one that was able to frame Shaw for all the deaths that they mentioned in Furious 7 and as well the reason why he went rogue because basically he got framed which is causing him even worse situation why he does a lot of stuff now in a ways people say like you remember Sh Decker Sharp is the guy who did kill Han now in a ways I can totally understand Han was a likable character in the Fast and Furious franchise but here's the thing guys just to no, sometimes even it's like a war when people are fighting for their country another country is fighting for their country as well and sometimes even good men has to make those hard decisions or hard decisions that causes them to become a villain in any case from my point of view no matter what side you are no matter what you do any action has a consequences and those consequences will come to you guys which is why we had to be careful for the decisions we made now anyways that's what I see and that's why I don't think Shaw was a bad guy at that moment I mean he is a villain at that time but I feel like he's doing it because he because his family was endangered including that was his brother which his brother was joining at the wrong team as well which just causes conflict now in a way it's kind of confusing but in a way you can understand that there are always two sides both thinking that they're doing good things but don't understand the consequences they are facing and that tends to happen but anyways that's we get a little background of how Decker Shaw became a villain is because they framed him to be a villain that's why and for that uh, it was a quite a Real ride. It doesn't have too much Fast and Furious pace, like how the Fast and Furious movie is. But then again, this is a spinoff. This is their own movie, so I treat the movie as its own rather than just feeling like it's a connection. And they do kind of feel like they are separating from the Fast and Furious franchise because they didn't really mention much about like, like Toretto or anyone. Not even the cars that they were doing. But there were some few like moments of like chases and actions but that's it but anyways uh what else did i want to say oh idris El um idris elba's character when he say he is superman in a way it turns out he's not really a superman but what luke hobbs actually got right is he's like a freaking terminator so basically he's not really a superman he's not genetically enhanced but he has been up Graded with robotic or mechanics that's inserted into his body so it kind of makes him look like a terminator make him like a robot in a way so that kind of explains why he's super strong and super 
agility and everything. But then again, that's also kind of sounds ridiculous in so many levels. But yeah, and another thing that got me weird, that the reason I gave it a two, um, two points lowered rather than giving it like a nine or a ten. Why I give it eight out of ten is because there's some logics I don't quite understand when it comes to a helicopter chase scene. When the helicopter is Actually, it's not really a chase scene. It's more like the helicopter is getting away, but Luke Hobbs and Decker Shaw using the car to hook on the helicopter. I was like, how did... How, what? It's kind of weird. And as well, I was like, but you have missiles in your helicopter. But my father, which who came with me to see the movie, just saying like, remember um, Decker Shaw's sister is the one that deactivated the weapons. So they were... Not useful. So for that, I haven't mentioned this one. So anyways, they use different types of weapons in this film. But the weapons will only be activated if you wear a special glove chip that allows them to access to use firearms. Otherwise, without the access glove chips, you won't be able to fire it. But for this one, Decker Shaw's sister was able to disable it for momentarily. But until when it got brought back up, I was like, why didn't they shoot them at that time? And as well, how, as well, there's some scenes that I see like there was gunfire shooting, but yet I don't even know who they're shooting at. If they're shooting all at, at the two main characters with the buggy vehicle, I was like, so all those bullets that was zipping around them, they all missed that shot from that small buggy vehicle that seems to be open spaces for you to get hit. It's kind of weird. But uh, yeah. Anyways, also, there are so many guest appearance. <sighs> Ryan Reynolds was in there. And Kevin Hart was in there too. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting to see them in there. So basically, Ryan Reynolds is playing as um, is supposed to be Luke Hobbs' former partner or and former best friend. I gotta tell you, he was hilarious. Including Kevin Hart, which he was a Sky Marshal in the... In one of the plane scenes when Hobbs and Sean were on their way to one of the destinations in the next mission. But anyways, yeah, it is. We I laughed my butt off from all those kind of scenes. But anyways, uh, yeah. So anyways, I there are some negatives I feel from this film that I can understand that why people are saying like, is this really necessary? But in a way, I just enjoy the film how it is and. I'm not saying this is a perfect film. This is a great film, just not a perfect film. And is it a really necessary spinoff? Anyways, yeah. But if you like to have fun, then this is the movie you should have fun. And I did have fun with it. And if you guys want to have fun with the film, this is a good movie for a summer film for you guys to enjoy before school starts. I know that some of you guys are getting ready to go to school. You're wondering what you can do for your last summer break before you go back. So this will be a great, this will be a good um, choice to watch. If you don't think so, then save your money and use your money elsewhere for your entertainment or for your summer vacation. Well, anyways, guys, it's about the time to go sleep. It's getting late. I'm a little bit tired. I got a lot of stuff to take care of. And there will be upcoming videos soon. So anyways, you guys, if you like this video, please comment, like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. When you have a chance, and if you like to see the previous videos that I've done, like my first video game review, my R-rated video game review and rant, and any others, please watch them, support them, and do the same thing. Comment, like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell for more additional videos, okay? Well, anyways, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for being awesome, and thank you for those who are subscribing to my channel. Hopefully, this channel will keep growing and I hope your support will keep growing as well guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I gotta go. Until next time, this is Kaiju2014117 signing off.